Hello and welcome to this week's Indie Showcase. Today we're going to be playing a game that was actually kickstarted a while ago. This is a demo and it is called Casebook 1899 The Leipzig Murders. I don't know if I pronounced this right but uh, I think this is primarily made... I'm assuming they're a German studio. Uh, the, the studio is called Homo Naren Studio and um, the game is has voice acting in German or subtitles in German or English. So uh, obviously we're going to be playing English subtitles. Um, and yeah, this is a detective game. I was going to say murder mystery. I don't know if that's actually what it is. But it is point and click classic uh, adventure detective game, I think. And... Um, from what I just seen by glancing on the Steam page, basically it's a one of those types, a little bit like the newer Sherlock games, where you can make your accusations, you can come to your conclusions, and the story will continue whether you got that right or not. And I love that idea. So um, I really wanted to do this game sooner, but at the time when this was being kickstarted. I had a lot of other time sensitive games that I was playing and I just never managed to do it. So now we're gonna we're gonna put our all into this demo uh, and we're gonna see how we get on. See if we can solve some cases. Uh, it seemed to start as soon as I opened it. I could choose English or German and then it started. So this is the actual pause menu. Uh, so I'm just gonna press continue and see what happens. <laughs> okay, maybe it was just an intro cutscene that I've now missed. I don't know. There is no continue. Uh, demo only. Madcap motorist. I guess this is what we're doing. Uh, we may have missed an intro cutscene then, but... What can I do? Oh, this is... Wild. Okay, I'm excited. The year is 1899. The place is Leipzig and an industrial boom town in the middle of the German Kaiserreich. Uh, we find ourselves in the sitting room of Hannah Faber, a former teacher who had to give up on her vocation when she was stricken by blindness. She is eagerly awaiting the return of her lodger while listening to her housemaid playing the piano. Hannah, okay. Oh. So we're seeing this like this because she's blind, so we're kind of hearing it. Oh, I'm scared. So, wenn ich noch weiter spiele, verknoten sich meine Finger. Das ist schon recht so, Gretchen. Du hast heute sehr schön gespielt. Und außerdem wird mein Untermieter wohl bald nach Hause kommen und mir die Zeit mit seinen Geschichten vertreiben. Ich frage mich, was der Kommissar heute wohl erlebt hat. Der Bericht von seinen Ermittlungen ist immer so mitreißend. Gretchen, du wirst doch nicht etwa heimlich an der Tür lauschen? Das gehört sich für ein Hausmädchen nun wirklich nicht. Ich, ich wollte nicht. Ich bitte um Verzeihung, Frau Farber. Ich mach doch nur meine Späße. Wenn du den Geschichten lauschen willst, kannst du gern auch die Tür auflassen. Im Sommer ist mir der Durchzug sowieso willkommen. Und wenn mich nicht alles täuscht, habe ich auch gerade die Schlüssel des Kommissars im Schloss gehört. Oh, we're hearing. Is this our Lord Frau Faber? Gretchen? Ach, ich muss mich erst einmal hinsetzen. Die Verbrecherjagd führte heute mehrmals durch die halbe Stadt. My investigation. The Lodger Aber der is Aufwand hat sich wenigstens gelohnt. Dann werden Leipzigs Straßen nun von einem Verbrecher weniger unsicher gemacht. Oh, Sie gönnen einem ausgelaugten Polizeibeamten aber auch gar keine Pause. 
Aber das Erzählen vertreibt die Zeit bis zum Abendessen. Am besten beginne ich meine Erzählung gleich. So werde ich vielleicht fertig, bevor das Essen auf dem Tisch steht. Alles begann heute Nein. früh in meiner Schreibstube im Polizeirevier. Ich stand am Fenster und schaute auf das bunte Treiben auf der Wächterstraße. Ich hatte mich in meinen eigenen Gedanken verloren und musste mir einen Ruck geben, mich wieder an die Arbeit zu machen. Okay. So we are gonna be experiencing these cases through us telling our landlady what happened that day. That's cool. Also that art was trippy. I'm not sure if I should turn the voice acting off and read it myself. Just because a lot of people don't speak German. And it might be easier if I just read them. I should really be getting back to work. Uh, I couldn't pause during that cutscene, but I really liked how they demonstrated um, kind of the blindness of the lady by just lighting up the things that were making noise. That was very cool. Okay, controls. Click on the ground to direct Inspector Kreiser to the indicated location. I am concerned that I'm going to be pronouncing words wrong, uh, which is almost one temptation to leave the subtitles on, but all, uh, not the subtitles, the voice acting on. But also, I, I'm, I don't, it just all goes over my head. So um, I think I might r turn them on just in case anyone's watching the video as a background thing. Uh, so you can just hear it. Cause like, that's literally, this is just because um, when I've tried to play games that aren't English, sometimes I just like to watch games as a background thing. And I can't do it for non-English speaking games because you're missing everything. If you're not looking at the screen, you have to be concentrating. So I don't mind reading all of the things, maybe. I will see how much of it is voice acted in this section of the game, and we'll make a decision. Objects. Objects with a magnifying glass displayed over them can be examined. Click on them using the right or left mouse buttons to examine them. So they have to have a magnifying glass. Ah, I like these things on the window. Okay. So he does read everything. Oh no, that was just a noise. Is someone at the door? Right. The certificate commem commemorating my appointment as an inspector. It makes me proud whenever I see it. Mm. As befits a civil servant, the emperor hangs prominently on my office wall. <laughs> Somebody seems to be at the door. Yes, I heard the knocking. But I'm 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 inspecting. Objects with a hand displayed over them can be used. Click with the left mouse button to either use or pick up an object. Click with the right mouse button to examine it. Pick up left, examine right. Got it. Hold on. A somewhat kitschy, kitschy landscape. I can't say that word. The mountains radiate a peculiar calm. Let's look at this plant. My house plant, it could do a little water. Guilty as charged. Is this water? Oh, my petroleum lamp. It has often helped me bring light to the darkness. Let's not pour that on the plant. The helmet from my time on patrol. I don't quite care to think back on it. I never had the money for proper shoes back then. And I always felt the cobblestones through my soles. I can still tell which street I'm on just by looking at the pavement. Oh, okay, so it sounds like we've been going through some harsh times. Uh, and this is, what, 1899? So it's long before mm. our time. Uh, through the open window, I can see the colourful hustle and bustle of... Oh, yeah, he, th he already said this. I don't know how you say it. Okay. <laughs> The window is closed and the shutters are in place. Okay, let's, um... <laughs> Someone seems to want to use the door. I should probably open it. <laughs> I locked the door so that I could work undisturbed. Is there a key? <laughs> the key is not here! Wherever could it be? 
notebook. Inspector Kreiser will write important observations in his notebook. Refer to it by scrolling the mouse wheel down. Click on two observations, one after another, to combine them. This gives Inspector Kreiser new insights and unlocks further actions. Ah, okay. So we're going to be like pairing things up as well. Police station. Investigate the office to find clues. Oh, we like circle it. I should look for clues as to where I put the keys. Uh, clues? Check your desk. Oh. Most recently, I worked on the case of Rose with a Rosal and Locker. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna stop apologizing for pronunciation, but I'm gonna apologize in advance for the rest of the video. Shit, I didn't read that fast enough because I was too busy apologizing about my pronunciation. <laughs> Uh, I took the documents out of my filing cabinet just this morning. That's what we said. Oops, that was an accident. I last worked on the Rosen Locker case. So, maybe it's in the R box? Mm -hmm. I keep the files on my cases in this cabinet, sorted by last name. <laughs> it's so funny how that's like a perfect IKEA shelf, but then the Z is just on its own. I actually, it's actually not too shabby a system with only one shortcoming. There is no room for Z, exactly. It's quite funny. <laughs> Poor thing. Interessant. Maybe the key is in one of the drawers, but I can't hardly search through them all. Maybe I should combine observations in the notebook. Okay. So we're looking for R. Oh! Oh, I love it. Ah. The branding. I may have put the key in place of the rose with a rose locker flat files this morning. Yes. Let's find it. Oh. I open the drawer. And? Is it there? My, uh... Here we go. The key! Oh, I love this thing in the top right corner. Inventory. Scroll the mouse wheel up to open inventory. You can then right click on an item to examine it. Left click to use it with another item uh, in the inventory or in the game world. Right click again to deselect it. This feels really smooth so far by the way. Uh, <sighs> the key to my office door. That was a right click to examine. Left click to use. Schön, Sie zu sehen. Oh, this is where I'm not going to be reading. Um, Because it's also very weird if I'm talking over them talking. When they are, just because they're talking in a language I don't understand. It must be weird if you can understand the language and you hear both me and them at one time. Very off-putting. So, uh, I think I'll just stay quiet when they're talking. And then read the parts that aren't being said. If I can distinguish that. Dialogue. Inspector Kreiser can talk to people who have a mouth displayed over them. To do this, left click on the person, right click will examine people. During conversation, select dialogue options from the notebook. Okay. Uh, that mouth. Hmm. I've right clicked there so I can inspect. Patrolman Velm, or Velm? Would it be Velm? Uh, a good man seems to want to tell me something. Mm -hmm. A good man who has what it takes to be more. Okay. Uh, what's up, Velm? Guten Morgen, Kommissar Kreiser. Sie haben einen neuen Fall. Noch einen. Was haben wir denn diesmal? So we have another case. And this is what we are gonna guess that it is. I mean, it's definitely escaped lions. Let's go burglary. Ist es ein Einbruch in einem Kolonialwarenladen? Exotisch und luxuriös geht es schon zu, aber mit den Kolonien hat es nichts zu tun. I guess we're gonna get to ask them all. Lions. Sind die Löwen aus dem zoologischen Garten entlaufen? Geschwindigkeit und Gefahr haben etwas damit zu tun, aber keine Wildtiere. Speed and danger. Definitely fraud. Soll ich einen Betrüger schnappen, der Pelzhändler geprellt hat? Ganz kalt. Wer würde denn so etwas tun? Sie würden sich wundern, in welch illustrer Gesellschaft man sich da befände. That sounds like definitely something that's happened. 
Suicide. Soll ich wieder mal die Leiche einer Selbstmörderin aufheben? Nein, Selbstmord war es diesmal wohl nicht. Alright, I've got no more ideas. Ich gebe auf. Sagen Sie mir, was es ist. Natürlich. In Plagwitz ist einer dieser neuartigen Motorwagen ins Wasser gefahren. Und warum braucht es da einen Kriminalkommissar? Weil anscheinend faules Spiel stattgefunden hat und der Fahrer tot ist. Nun gut. Ich hole schnell meinen Hut und komme dann gleich. Besorgen Sie uns schon einmal eine Kutsche. Ding. Okay. Äh, uh, you go ahead and secure us a car. Did we have anything left to do here? I don't think so. We looked at... Is the camera in on a bookshelf? <laughs> We're like surrounded by books. Let's just double check our ah. desk. Oh no, we we read this like five times. Oh, we need our hat. That's that's ah. it. Now that I have my hat, I feel ready for anything. <laughs> to plug with plug with? Huh. We couldn't do anything without our hat. Los geht's. Let's go. Click on the exit to call up the map. Click on the exit. Okay. Uh, Inspector Kreiser can use it to travel to new places. To do so, simply click on the pin. Your game will be saved automatically when you enter a new location. This is so good so far, as in, it's just so smooth. It's telling me everything I need to know at the right time, and it, everything just feels like it works really well. There's no resistance from, like, pressing wrong buttons. It's awesome. So we are going to this place. Connerit Bridge. Where a car is driven into the water? Is that what it said? Oh, was that a loading yeah. scene? Screen? Oh, I see the car. Ah, Plagwitz, where you can never see the sky, not even on sunny days due to all the smoke. And who do we have here? I guess this is an industrial area. Ah, I found the body. Gustav Möbius. Was macht denn ein Staatsanwalt bei einem Verkehrsunfall? Mein lieber Freund, hier handelt es sich mitnichten um einen gewöhnlichen Unfall. Weil dies der erste Tote ist, den wir aus einem Motorwagen bergen mussten? Richtig. Und weil es immer mehr solcher Unfälle gibt, soll ich ein Gutachten erstellen. Ein Gutachten? Wozu? Ob die Stadt eine Verordnung braucht, die den Automobilverkehr reguliert. Aber ehrlich gesagt habe ich so meine Zweifel, ob das hier ein Unfall war. Wie kommen Sie denn darauf? Because it was murder. Oh, nein, mein lieber Kommissar. Das müssen Sie schon selbst herausfinden. Aber ich stehe Ihnen natürlich zur Verfügung, wenn Sie Hilfe brauchen sollten. Hotspot. If you can't find some objects or you feel stuck, you can ask Gustav Mobius to mark them. <laughs> you can also press and hold the left mouse button on Mobius to quickly display all hotspots. So he's a prosecutor, but he doesn't think it's a regular death, a uh, regular accident. I have witnesses to question and evidence to preserve. I should probably talk to Officer Vaughn first. This is him, right? I hope I'm saying that right because I just assume every W is V. Mm -hmm. uh, his assumed position behind the barrier. I would like to inspect the body. Was wissen wir denn schon? Let's get to. Nur, dass oh, das okay. Automobil die Absperrung mit großer Geschwindigkeit durchbrochen hat. Und da die Brücke noch nicht fertig ist, ist der Wagen in den Fluss gerauscht. Okay, so the bridge isn't actually there, and it just smashed through the barrier. Uh, cause. Haben wir schon eine Vermutung, wie es zu dem Unfall kam? Das Bremsband ist gerissen und der Fahrer konnte den Motorwagen nicht mehr stoppen. Mm. Ich habe die Schutzmänner angewiesen, nichts anzufassen, damit sie sich selbst ein Bild machen können. Schön, dass Sie mitdenken wollen. That sounds like a classic sabotage to me. Cut the brake wire. I think that's how cars work, right? Ich nehme an, dass es sich bei der Leiche um den Fahrer handelt. Richtig. Der Mann war hinter seinem Steuer eingeklemmt und musste mit Gewalt herausgezogen werden. 
Had to be pulled out by force. Yikes. Out of that? Dangling? Woran ist der Mann gestorben? Der Arzt sagt, dass er ertrunken ist. Er hat anscheinend nicht versucht, sich oh. zu befreien. Oh! It's dangling because it's being hoisted out of the water. <laughs> oh! He was in the car in the water, not dangling from the bridge. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I was imagining, but well, I don't actually know what I was imagining, but it didn't make a lot of sense. Now it does. Um, okay. <laughs> Identity. Wissen wir schon, wer der Tote ist? Er hatte seine Dokumente bei sich. Er heißt Eduard Ulich und wohnt am Marienplatz. Gut. Ich werde die Familie benachrichtigen. Oh Gott. Oh Gott. These are gonna be hard names to say for me. <laughs> um. Hat jemand den Unfall gesehen? Witnesses. Der Bauarbeiter dort drüben hat alles von seinem Gerüst aus verfolgt. Okay. This guy saw what happened. Das war's erst einmal. Ich stehe Ihnen jederzeit zur Verfügung, Herr Kommissar. So we're gonna have to talk to this guy. There's something here. There's this body here. There's the car. Uh, I want to look at everything immediately. The motor vehicle is done for. Seems to have entered the river at great speed. The patrolmen are trained to pull it out of the river from the other side. <laughs> oh, my eyes were not... We're just seeing... I don't know what they were seeing. But, I mean, I see it now. Okay. Um, what is this? A small box sits dangerously close to the edge of the scaffolding. <gasps> Are you being dangerous, sir? Are you breaking all the health and safety codes, sir? Oh. I can't reach it. God damn it. It's scaffolding! Climb up it! <laughs> That's what it's there for! <laughs> oh, a broken bench? The motorbike coal must have been going quite fast. So much so, it split the construction... Oh, a sight barrier in two! Yeah, they, these are the barriers they were talking about. These aren't benches. <laughs> <laughs> God, okay. Let's have a little peek. Oh. The man seems to have drowned. He also has a pretty nasty head wound. It's pretty nasty. <laughs> That's the diagnosis. That's what's going on the death certificate. Oh. Next to the construction site is a large pile of sand. I wonder what it's used for. Uh... Concrete? Cement? I don't know. Or like stopping floods from the river? Uh, let's just look at everything else before we talk to this guy. Toolbox is full of tempting tools. What's so tempting about them? I mean, I get it, but I just want to know why, why he's tempted. The brake band of a motor vehicle. The ends look smoothly cut through. Sabotage. Can we take this? Okay. Now I know what the prosecutor meant. <laughs> yep, doesn't doesn't look like an accident. Something doesn't seem to be right here. Uh, I want to click on the toolbox with the left click. Mm. So if I'm as tempting as the toolbox is, I need a good reason before rummaging through it. Damn it. So if I'm clicking on things multiple times, it's because I'm right clicking and left clicking. Mm. Um, because right click is examine, left click is pick up, and I don't want to, like, not pick something up because I thought I'd had and stuff like that. <sighs> May and Endlich. This is German, so it's said, like, differently, but I can't, I've never been able to say the ICH properly. It's like, ich, like, ich. <laughs> mm. uh, mail order company and royal... Purveyor to the court. Also, maybe the ick is said differently dependent on what word it's in. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, what words are in front of it and stuff like that. Uh, the tracks of the car lead straight towards the bridge. Okay. Uh, let's, mm, let's see if we can touch the body. Nice. 
Okay, same thing. Mm. All right, you, sir, Mr. Non-Health and Safety. Mm. The construction worker looks more impatient than dismayed. Und Sie sind so he's just not bothered? Unrecht. Ich will meine Pausenbrote. Ah, I Aber see. diese Polizisten lassen mich nicht auf das Gerüst. Kann ich Ihnen trotzdem einige Fragen stellen? Wenn ich Hunger habe, funktioniert <laughs> mein Kopf nur <laughs> langsam. Yeah, oh my god, this is me. Nein, oder? Richtig. Ah, ich muss also oh. erst Ihren Hunger stillen, bevor Sie mit mir sprechen. Genau. He is me. I understand this man now. You know, before when I was insulting him, I've changed my mind. He needs his sandwiches, that's all. You can't argue with that. The construction worker's sandwiches are probably in there. But we can't reach it. How are we gonna... Do you have a ladder? I feel like this guy's just for clues, so I don't want to like... I don't want to give everything away uh, until I've kind of looked everywhere. Hmm. Uh, can you help me get the sandwiches? Ich habe doch noch eine Frage. Oh, I do have one more question. End conversation. Ich stehe Ihnen jederzeit zur Verfügung, Herr Kommissar. Okay. Hmm. Looks like the new bridge is still not finished. Oh. Yeah, climb up it. Like, why don't we ask him how he gets up? Do you use the sun? <laughs> oh, hold on. Why don't we look at our notes? The driver drowned and the driver suffered a head wound. What an extraordinary idea. I was going to say contradiction. It's not really a contradiction, is it? Did that not give you no more thoughts? I don't think so. I can't believe that. Oh. Okay, okay. Extraordinary, I guess, isn't good. Okay, none of these go together then. Oops, my bad. Ah, so police station. Connoritz Bridge. And we also have the break thingy. The edges stand out to me. Uh, so. Besorgen Sie mir was zu mampfen, bevor Sie mit mir sprechen. Ich leih mir den Hammer nur einmal kurz aus, wenn das recht ist. Ist mir egal. Den Hammer kann ich eh nicht essen. Wait, I just looked at that guy's portrait. Doesn't he look like Trump? Um. So, we borrowed a hammer. Ein Hammer. Das praktischste aller Werkzeuge. The most practical of all the tools. I mean, I would say a screwdriver, but a hammer's good. Especially if you want to smash things. Nothing of interest. I want to look at him again. Sie mir was zu mampfen, bevor Sie mit Looks a bit like Trump. Okay, are we gonna hammer this to make it fall off? <laughs> Is there no other way? I would only put myself and others in danger. Oh, never mind then. I I thought that might... Okay. That's not it. What am I doing with... What if the head wound was done by the hammer? Can we match it up? I wouldn't want to break that. <laughs> the hammer or the body. Oh, maybe. Das okay. Maybe I can show this to him. Yeah. No, him. Him. Oh. Okay. No, then. Right. Let's talk to him. Kommissar Kaiser. Uh, don't. Hotspot help or regular help. So I guess hotspot help just helps you with the pixel hunting if that ends up being a thing, and help help would be like narrative help. Das war's erst dann. Okay. Ah. 
The prosecutor looks almost thrilled to be Promise here. Kaiser. Oops, that was an accident. Those vows here. Uh, right. Let's just. I mean. I'm oops. Does I'm oh, hammer. oops. That makes no sense. I mean, I thought it didn't, but what are we gonna hammer? I hit the wooden frame hard with the hammer. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do in the first place. Sandwiches. The box is secured with a surprisingly complicated lock. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. The construction worker seems to care a lot for his lunch. I mean, not enough to not put it on the edge of some scaffolding. Okay, let me um... Eine Kiste mit Pausenbroten. Better secured. Besser gesichert oh. als die Leipziger Bank. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's give him his sandwiches. My boy's hungry. Hier sind ihre Pausenbrote. Die Polizei ist ja doch zu etwas gut. Dann stellen Sie mal Ihre Fragen. I mean, I delivered sandwiches. I'm just basically an angel. Wie ist Ihr Name? Mein Name ist August Baumann. Ich bin der Vorarbeiter hier auf der Baustelle. Ich hoffe, ich kann bald weiterarbeiten. Die Brücke muss endlich fertig werden. Zeigen Sie ein wenig Respekt. Ein Mann ist gestorben. Selbst schuld, wenn Sie mich fragen. Wer sich in so einen Motorwagen setzt, muss lebensmüde sein. <lacht> ich habe Sie aber nicht gefragt. Aha, so we're in a time where motor vehicles are controversial. Because uh, they're new. Uh, okay. Sie haben den Unfall gesehen. Allerdings. Ich war oben auf dem Gerüst, als dieser Wahnsinnige angerast kam. Wann haben Sie den Wagen bemerkt? Gleich als er in die Straße eingebogen ist. Er war viel zu schnell unterwegs und ist in Schlangenlinien gefahren. Und hat geradewegs auf die Baustelle zugehalten? Genau. Ich habe mich noch gewundert, warum er nicht bremst. Aber dann war es ja schon <lacht> zu spät und der Wagen krachte in den Fluss. Ich habe mich so erschrocken, ich wäre fast vom Gerüst gefallen. Uh, so, he's like, why didn't he put on the brakes? But the brakes were broken, so... Die Brücke ist immer noch nicht fertig. Sieht man ja. Und für die ganz Begriffsstutzigen haben wir die Absperrungen aufgestellt. Das hat den Fahrer aber nicht davon abgehalten, trotzdem voll auf die Brücke zuzuhalten. Mhm. Lassen Sie uns über etwas anderes sprechen. Soll mir recht sein. Okay, so... He's just like, yeah, I'm still working on the bridge. What are you gonna do about it? Uh, let's see. The brake band top. Der Wagen hatte keine Bremsen. Hat der Fahrer etwas gemacht, die Fahrt anzuhalten? Da habe ich mich auch gewundert. Der Fahrer hätte ja auf den Sandhaufen auffahren können. Notfalls hätte er auch abspringen können. Aber nichts da. Er ist geradewegs in den Fluss gefahren. Maybe he was already knocked out by the head injury. Potentially. Also, I thought you would just drive up the sand and like drive, like fly into the air, so that might not be very safe. Uh, okay. Laut der Zeugenaussage versuchte der Fahrer nicht seinem Schicksal zu entkommen. Was wollen Sie denn noch? Das wissen Sie <laughs> doch von mir. I just said that to him by accident. Uh, der Fahrer erlitt eine Kopfwunde, als er mit dem Wagen ins Wasser fiel. Darüber weiß ich nichts. I don't know anything about that. Der Fahrer ist ertrunken. Anscheinend hat er nicht versucht, sich zu befreien. Wie schrecklich. Yeah, I think he was already knocked out, maybe. So he drowned as his cause of death, but maybe not. Like, did they check his lungs? Uh, or maybe he drowned because he was too knocked out. He had a brain injury. Uh, how do I... Okay. Der Wagen hatte keine Brem da habe ich mich auch gewohnt. Ja, yeah, close. <lacht> Mehr Fragen habe ich momentan nicht. Bitte halten Sie sich weiter zur Verfügung. Beeilen Sie sich, damit ich weitermache. All right, kann. all right. I'm trying. Uh, let's see if we link those together. A brain ping. Interessant. The driver was not conscious. 
Well, the question is whether the driver was conscious or not, is what he said. And then I just put in my own uh, words. Combine entries from the notebook to draw logical conclusions. To do this, simply click on the options to select one. This unlocks new conclusions. Uh, but be careful, first impressions are often deceptive. Take your time, you can always change your mind. So this is like the mind thingy that we used in Sherlock Holmes. Uh, Crimes and Punishment and Devil's Daughter to be specific. Although we, we don't have any... Okay, so... Edward's consciousness. Also don't forget that uh, he... It just said that things can be deceiving. Uh, could not react in time to avoid the accident. This indicates that he was not conscious or tried to break in order to avoid the accident, but it was in vain. This indicates that he was conscious during the accident. Oh, yeah, because let's also not forget that um, he... Maybe he didn't know his brakes were broken at the time, so he wouldn't have thought to have drove into the sand. I jumped out of the car because he was just slamming on the brakes and he was stuck in the car that's why he didn't try and get out when he was drowning because he was stuck they had to physically force him out I'm gonna press this one for now although it doesn't lead anywhere because we don't have anything else but okay so that's there uh... oh. imagine that <laughs> Okay, uh, shall we go back to him? Ich habe doch noch eine Frage. Do I though? Das war's erst dann. Ich stehe ihm. Kommissar Kreis. Das war. Okay, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna actually try the hotspot help thing. Mehr Fragen habe ich momentan nicht. Eilen Sie sich da. So, these cross out when they're done, which is also really good. Uh, I still have the break thing. So, we can kind of... Uh, it looked like it's been cut, right? Maybe we'll be able to find the tool that it was cut with. Kommissar Kaiser. Uh, Hotspot help. Ich glaube, ich brauche ihr scharfes Auge. Hier sollten Sie einmal genauer hinschauen. Ah. Oh. Okay, we've done all those. I believe. That's the scaffolding, that's the car, that's the barrier, that's the body, that's the tracks, that's the sand, that's the toolbox. Oh, the chimney, we haven't done the chimney. Exhaust fumes, an unmistakable sign of progress and prosperity. You won't have you won't find much of it in the whole of Leipzig. As you would here in Plagwitz. Progress and exhaust fumes. I mean, prosperity won't be for a long time. Oh. Pro I've said that wrong, but yeah. <laughs> okay. That's both buttons. Uh, but other than that, that's all of the things. Can we get a better look at the car? <laughs> Great speed. Trying to pull it out from the other side. Can we like combine that and that? That sounds a bit far fetched. Okay. Uh, what now then? What if I just change this to the unconscious thing and it might give us some new stuff to look at? Oh, maybe we can ask him. Ich habe doch noch no. Ich stehe ihn. Maybe we can ask the witness whether the thingy was unconscious or not. Oh, we can't like bring up the conscious thing. We've already asked him all these things. He's just like, I don't know nothing about that. Mehr Fragen habe ich momentan nicht. Eilen Sie sich. We don't have the hammer anymore. I can't believe that. Well, I thought maybe you'd find some pliers in the toolbox that like cut this. That makes no sense. Am I? 
imagine that? Putting the brake line on a dead body. Uh... Uh-oh. Sir? I'm a little stuck. Ach, ich fürchte, ich stecke fest. Und weiß nicht mehr weiter. Oh, the sun. Hier auf der Brücke haben Sie alles gesehen. Oh. Vergessen Sie nicht, Ihre Beobachtungen in Ihrem Notizbuch miteinander zu kombinieren. Oh, we've seen everything. We have to just do the notebook. But this doesn't... That doesn't add up. So what do I have to do with this then? Like, I've tried both of these. Uh, does it have anything to do with back at the police station? No. Can we go on the map? I know that already. But I don't think we're gonna be... Oops. Oh, like, we literally can't even press on those ones. And it's not those two, so I'm a little stuck. Is this supposed to do something? Like, so what it did in Sherlock was like, it would branch off into things. Interessant. No? Uh-oh, I'm a little bit confused. I might need to Google to find out what I need to do here, because something to do with a notebook, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I just had a look at a video on Google. I think if we just click on here. Wir sollten unsere Ermittlungen anderswo fortsetzen. We can leave. Ich begleite sie. <laughs> we, we can leave, see. <laughs> that, that's all. That's a puzzle. We can leave. Um... And there is another location here. Villa Ulick. Ulick? I don't know. <laughs> but we're going. Um, I can't believe that took me so long. Ah, it was the prosecutor guy that came with also. us. Die Villa des Toten. Und dort haben wir die Ehefrau, die nun Witwe ist und noch nichts Böses ahnt. Ah, ich sollte ihr wohl die schreckliche Nachricht überbringen, bevor ich auch den Angestellten verhöre. She doesn't Ein know. guter Plan. Ich wünsche Ihnen viel Kraft. I wish you much strength, yeah, but you do it yourself. Okay, so this is the widow that doesn't know yet. Is this a dead body that's being buried? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Although the woman is handling gardening tools, she is easily recognizable as a lady. <laughs> Entschuldigen Sie, dass wir in Ihr Heim eindringen. Es ist leider unerlässlich. Ich bin Kommissar Kreiser von der Leipziger Kriminalpolizei. Sind Sie die Ehefrau von Eduard Ulich? Ulich. Richtig. Ich bin Emma Ulich. Sagen Sie mir bitte, was Sie von mir wünschen. Uh, Ihr Ehemann uh -oh. hatte heute Morgen einen Unfall mit seinem Motorwagen. Er hatte einen Unfall. Wie schrecklich. Geht es ihm gut? Er ist leider noch an der Unfallstelle verstorben. Ich muss Sie leider bitten, mir noch einige Fragen zu beantworten. Ich werde versuchen, Ihnen zu helfen, wo ich kann. Are you okay? You didn't respond. You didn't react. Probably in shock. Darf ich Ihnen einige Fragen zu Ihrem Ehemann stellen? Sicher doch. Wenn Sie denken, dass Ihnen das hilft... Oh, okay, this is a servant. Is she, there's some tools. Is there an affair? Was this a plan all along? Was he supposed to die? Ihr Mann fuhr einen Motorwagen. Das ist noch immer ein sehr ungewöhnliches Transportmittel. Er war ganz vernarrt in dieses Spielzeug. Ich habe ihm immer gesagt, dass es einmal sein Tod sein würde. Es ist nicht einfach, immer recht zu haben, wissen Sie? Wir müssen noch sehen, was der genaue Grund seines Todes war. Dafür bin ich ja hier. War er ein guter Fahrer? Aber sicher. Er fuhr dieses Ding fast täglich. 
Wenn ich die Kutsche nahm, ist er mir mit diesem Karren hinterhergefahren. Ich habe es ihm nämlich nicht erlaubt, vor mir zu fahren und die Luft zu verpesten mit den Abgasen. Einen Unfall halten Sie also für unwahrscheinlich? Aber wo denken Sie denn hin? Was soll es denn anderes als ein Unfall gewesen sein? Der Wagen war doch die reinste Todesfalle. Ah, that's what, that's what a murderer would say, Mom. <lacht> hm. Okay, so, she didn't like the car. Um, but he always drove behind, even when they were taking a horse carriage. That's such a waste. So much pollution. Hatte ihr Mann irgendwelche Feinde? Es gab sicher viele, die neidisch waren auf das, was er im Leben erreicht hatte. Aber Feinde, so weit würde ich nicht gehen. Und überhaupt, haben Sie nicht von einem Unfall gesprochen? No. Das zu ermitteln ist meine Aufgabe und ich bin gern gründlich. No, I, I mean, I'm, I don't remember if I specifically said the word accident, but I shouldn't have. If I did, I was just trying to be gentle. <lacht> right, health. Hat er Herr Ulich irgendwelche gesundheitlichen Probleme? Nein, ihm ging es immer gut. Er stand voll im Saft und hatte mehr Energie als so mancher Jungspund. Für meinen Geschmack sogar zu viel Energie, wenn Sie verstehen, was ich meine. Ich gebe mir größte Mühe, <lacht> es nicht zu tun. <lacht> All right. Uh, okay. Ich komme später noch einmal auf Ihren Mann we'll zurück. Back to that later. Alles zu Ihrer eigenen Zeit, Herr Kommissar. Uh, all right, we have more questions about other things. So, I mean, she doesn't sound very sad. And she's like complaining about him a bit there. Gardening. Sie kümmern sich selbst um Ihren Garten? Kein Gärtner? Allerdings. Es ist mir eine Freude, die Arbeit meiner Hände wachsen und gedeihen zu sehen. Vor Jahren hatten wir einmal einen Gärtner. Aber nachdem ich ihm seine Arbeit dreimal erklären musste, hat er gekündigt. Und seitdem kümmere ich mich um mein kleines Reich. Fair enough. Uh, well, who is this guy then? Do you know anything ah, about the brake band? Das Bremsband des Motorwagens weist markante Schnittkanten auf. Und was habe ich damit zu tun? Ich weiß ja nicht einmal, wovon sie sprechen. <lacht> I think it was the guy in the dungarees. Ihr Ehemann ist ertrunken. Möglicherweise war er aber nicht bei Bewusstsein. Ertrunken? So ein schrecklicher Tod. Hoffen wir, dass er nicht leiden musste. She's so casual. <lacht> okay, uh, let's close this. Let's Nehmen Sie sich this. einen Moment, um sich zu sammeln. Ich habe später vielleicht noch Fragen. Vielen Dank, es geht schon. But it's quite all right. She isn't very torn up, is she? Okay, let's have a look at this. I want to know what's under these oh. thingies. In one corner of the garden stands a small bush that is bearing blackberries. Oh, it's a bush. Oh. Oh, fassen Sie die Beeren lieber nicht an. Das sind Tollkirschen. Sie sind hochgiftig und können von Halluzinationen über Lähmungen bis zum Tod führen. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Looks like some of the fruit has already been picked. They can, they can cause hallucinations, paralysis and death. Maybe he was paralyzed, maybe he was poisoned. Maybe he was poisoned and the brake wires were cut so that he would die. This was a murder. This was a murder. You can still be conscious and paralyzed. Hmm. Nice plants. Cover the outer wall of the garage. <sighs> can I touch... Can I pick a berry? No. Oh, fast. Is it? no. But like she's just told us how she tends to the garden. This is her pride and joy. And the one plant she has is a death bush. It's not looking good for her. The Ulix res residence is one of the most impressive mansions in Leipzig. Mm. Okay. Uh, look at these tools before I talk to this tool. A few tools are hung neatly on the wall. One tool seems to be missing. 
Is it wire cutters? Uh, mm -hmm. The garage is pitch black. Maybe there would be something interesting to discover here. This goes to show. You should never leave the station without your lamp. No, we're going to have to go and get the lamp. I need my lamp. Hmm. The traces of a wagon are visible on the floor. Search for the horse tracks, however. Uh, let alone the wagon itself end up in vain. Maybe she's lying even about the horse and carriage thing. <sighs> this mechanic is a giant. He's even taller than Mobius. Mechanic, eh? You know your way around some brake wires. Could just show him. Guten Tag. Mein Name ist Josef Kreiser. Darf ich Sie fragen, in welcher Verbindung Sie zu Eduard Ulich stehen? Dürfen Sie? Muss ich denn antworten? Müssen Sie. Ich bin Kriminalkommissar und in einer ernsten Angelegenheit hier. Na, wenn das so ist. Ich bin Max Töpfer, der Mechaniker Eduard Ulichs. Ich muss Sie leider informieren, dass Herr Ulich <lacht> tot ist. Ach, was ist denn passiert? Es gab einen Unfall mit dem Kraftwagen, den er fuhr. Das ist schlecht. Wie steht es um den Wagen? Ich werde Ihre Impertinenz Mr. Car, okay. ignorieren und Ihnen stattdessen einige Fragen stellen. Wenn es sein muss. <lacht> He's like, that's a shame, Mr. Car, okay. It's really unfortunate to be this guy's mechanic right now. I'm not gonna lie, it puts you in a bad position. Ich habe Fragen zu Ihrem Arbeitgeber. Dann schießen Sie mal los. Mm. Haben Sie Eduard Ulich heute Morgen gesehen? Ich habe ihn gehört, bevor ich ihn gesehen habe. Das hat wohl das ganze Viertel. Was meinen Sie damit genau? Yeah, well. Die Ulichs hatten heute Morgen einen sehr lautstarken Streit. Ah. Haben Sie gehört, worum es ging? Das war nicht zu überhören. Aber ich will nicht mit Dreck werfen. Reden Sie lieber mit der Frau Ulich. Mm. Das werde ich. Jedenfalls war Herr Urlich so erregt, dass er ganz wirres Zeug geredet hat. Da hatte ich ganz schöne Mühe, mich auf meine Arbeit zu konzentrieren. Oh Gott, so many incriminating things. They were arguing this morning so loud that it put him off his mechanic jobs. Wie war Herr Urlich als Arbeitgeber? Wie heißt das? Man soll nicht schlecht über die Toten reden? <lacht> Dann sage ich wohl besser nichts. Okay, so he didn't like Man soll him. aber der Polizei auch immer die Wahrheit sagen. Na, wenn sie es wollen. Ein Knauser und ein Ausbeuter war er. Ein Misser? Ein Extortionist? What's a Misser? Äh, uh, okay. Wie würden Sie die Ehe der Ulichs beschreiben? Gar nicht, wenn es Ihnen recht ist. Noch bin ich im Dienste der Ulichs. Sie könnten bei der Aufklärung des Verbrechens helfen. Nun gut, die Ehe war nicht sehr harmonisch. Die beiden stritten sich öfter, als sie sich wieder versöhnten. Worum ging es bei dem Streit? Das müssten Sie Frau Ulich wirklich <lacht> selbst fragen, tut mir leid. Deferred again, that's fine. Okay, that was all the questions about that, but we have more questions about the vehicle. Lassen Sie uns über den Motorwagen sprechen. Did you do it? Aber immer doch. Darüber rede ich besonders gern. Oh God, let's not get him talking about actual vehicles and just try and get him to slip up whether he cut the brakes. Uh, Ging von dem Wagen eine Gefahr aus? Nicht mehr als von einem Pferdewagen. Glauben Sie nicht alles, was Sie in der Zeitung lesen. Dem Motorwagen gehört die Zukunft. Verlassen Sie sich drauf. Hm. Momentan sind Sie aber noch sehr umständlich und unsicher, nicht wahr? Am Anfang gibt es immer kleine Probleme. Denken Sie einmal an die ersten Züge. Da hieß es auch, dass Sie dem Menschen schaden und sich nicht durchsetzen werden. Und nun gibt es kaum ein Dorf ohne Bahnhof. Ich sehe, was Sie meinen. Und irgendwann wird jeder Mensch einen Motorwagen besitzen. Glauben Sie mir. <lacht> It's, this is an interesting time period uh, to be exploring, actually. I quite like this, because think of anything new that comes out now. Uh, we have this exact same conversation. It's like, it's funny to know over a hundred years ago, they were probably having the same conversations again about things that are normal to us now. It's, it's, uh, it's wild. War der Wagen in einem guten Zustand? Wollen Sie mich beleidigen? Der Wagen war stets gut in Schuss. Da hat nie eine Schraube gewackelt oder ein Rad gequietscht. So etwas gab es bei mir nicht. 
He loves this car. I don't know whether he would cut the brakes. Hmm. How is he as a driver? Wie würden Sie Eduard Ulich als Fahrer einschätzen? Als einen der besten in Leipzig. Er konnte von hier bis Taucher fahren, ohne dass ihm der Motor ausging. Hmm. Lassen Sie uns über etwas anderes so sprechen. Very Wenn good es driver. Sein muss. Uh, I think both of these we can't actually ask him about because he's just like ask her. Laut Max Töpfer war Eduard Ulich am Tag. Ich stehe vor Ihnen, wissen Sie? Die Ehe der Ulichs war nicht glücklich. Aber das habe ich Ihnen doch. Yeah, so that's what I told you. Ah, das Bremsband des Motorwagens weist markante Schnittkanten auf. Darüber weiß ich nichts. You can't just say you wouldn't know anything about that when it's your pride and joy. That's rude. Für den Moment habe ich keine anderen Fragen. Wie Sie wünschen, Meister. Okay, here. Can you tell me about this? War der Wagen in einem guten Zustand? Wollen Sie mich beleidigen? Der Wagen war stets gut in Schuss. Da hat nie eine Schraube ge... Darüber weiß ich nichts. Okay, well, I tried. <laughs> uh, let's talk to her again. And then we also need to go back to the police station to see if we can pick up our lamp so we can have a look at the back of this garage. Because there's gonna be something juicy there, right? Sure of it. What is this? Hmm... Some berries, oh, in a small bowl. Someone must have picked them from that bush up there. That's why the berry. Ah. Oh. Who collects belladonna? Why are they in a bowl? Why would you put poison in a bowl? Maybe he just like grabbed them as he was walking past. He was like, oh, I'm hungry. I want a snack. Like that construction guy. Uh. Okay, let's ask her about all. Oops. Let's ask her about all of these things. Ich muss sie leider bitten, mir noch ein. Ich werde versuchen. Oh, let's ask about Max. Arbeitet Max Töpfer schon lange für Sie? Ja, das tut er. Nun muss er sich wohl eine neue Stelle suchen. Der arme Mann. Er hat sich nur um den Motorwagen gekümmert und ohne den gibt es hier nichts zu tun. Mein Mann hat viel über ihn geschimpft und. Zuletzt sogar Teile seines Lohnes einbehalten. Oh, did Aber he know? ich mag ihn eigentlich ganz gern, auch wenn er nur den Motorwagen im Kopf hat. Ah, es gab Streit zwischen den beiden. Worum ging es <lacht> denn da? Ich glaube, es ging um einen Kratzer an dem Wagen, dessen Reparatur aus Max Lohn bezahlt werden sollte. Aber da fragen Sie den Mann am besten selbst. Okay, so they both had arguments. And they both had access to a murder weapon. So we got to find out who would actually go through with it. Uh, interesting. Laut Max Töpfer war Eduard Ulich am Tatmorgen so erbost, dass er ganz wirres Zeug da redete. He could have been Darüber weiß ich nichts. What do you mean you don't know anything about that? You were... You were there arguing with him. You can't just get away with that. Oh, maybe just this. Sie hatten heute Morgen Streit mit Ihrem Ehemann. Woher wissen Sie denn? Ach, ich verstehe schon. Max hatte wohl wieder einmal sein loses Mundwerk nicht unter Kontrolle. I don't es think stimmt, it's an affair. dass die letzten Worte, die ich mit meinem Mann gewechselt habe, hitzig gesprochen waren. Worum ging es denn bei dem Streit? Das, worum es immer ging. Mein Ehemann hat es leider mit seinen Eheschwüren nicht sehr ernst genommen. There is an so affair. Mein Gott, muss ich es denn buchstabieren? Er war ein untreuer Mistkerl. Wobei man das nun wohl nicht mehr sagen darf, da er tot ist. Right, so they were arguing because he was unfaithful. So I don't think these two are actually... She doesn't seem interested in him. He doesn't seem interested in her. <laughs> They're just blaming each other. Uh, okay. Haben Sie die Beeren von dem Busch hinter Ihnen gesammelt? Ja, was ist damit? 
Wissen Sie denn nicht, dass Sie hochgiftig sind? Ist dem so? Ich hatte ja keine Ahnung. Nun, jetzt wissen Sie es ja. Werfen Sie sie lieber weg, bevor noch ein Unglück geschieht. Noch eines, meine ich. I don't believe her. My goodness, really? They're poisonous? I would never know. Well, then why have you just put them in a bowl? Like, was she gonna eat them? I don't know. I don't, I doubt it. <laughs> Uh, so she told us about this. She told us about this. Uh, oh, that's crossed out. Maybe she just genuinely didn't know. Maybe it was an accident. Like, maybe it wasn't calculated. He did eat them, but... Just by mistake. Uh, oh, that's crossed out because it's been replaced with another one. I think she told us this, so there's no point, but we'll see. Eduard Uri Müssen Sie mir das unter die Nase reiben? <laughs> sorry, sorry, it was an accident. Okay. Uh, let's end this Nehmen conversation. Sie sich einen Moment, um sich zu sammeln. Vielen Dank. Um, and now we've got more stuff to ask Max, but first... Can we, can we link any of these things together? Withheld his wages, that's very rude. Uh, because he scratched the car, but it might not even have been him that scratched the car. Doesn't that seem so petty in hindsight when you look at what has happened? Um, hmm, but the nonsense on the morning of the crime she wouldn't acknowledge. Okay, maybe you'd eaten the berries. Did Emma Ulrich? know about the harmfulness of belladonna or not that we don't have enough we don't how can we know that knew exactly of the dangers or picked it but was not aware of the danger i'm just gonna say we don't know for now because we don't well that was good that was a good shout and then we need to ask uh max about this other stuff ich habe noch mehr Fragen für Sie. So, wages, my dude. What's the crack? Ich habe gehört, dass es zuletzt Streit zwischen Ihnen und Ihrem Arbeitgeber gab. Ach, schwärzt Frau Ulich mich jetzt also an? <lacht> das hätte ich mir wohl denken sollen. Herr Ulich hat behauptet, dass ich seinen Motorwagen beschädigt hätte. Dabei hat er den Schaden selbst verursacht als er von einer seiner nächtlichen Ausfahrten zurückkam. Mm. Und warum hat dies zu einem so heftigen Streit geführt? Weil er mir den Schaden von meinem Lohn abziehen wollte. Da hat es mir gereicht und ich habe gekündigt. You resigned? But so why are you here now? Uh... Max Töpfer hat seine Stelle als Mechaniker Oops. gekündigt. Ich stehe vor ihm. It's funny that we read what he said back to him. Mistresses. Eduard Ulich war seiner Ehefrau nicht treu. Und die wusste dies auch. Darüber weiß ich nichts. Doesn't know anything about that, okay. So, he, like, he's a scumbag, right? He, like, cheats on his wife. He exploits his employers. He's just a bad person. Uh, how do I... I keep forgetting how to close the notebook. Für den Moment, wie sie wünscht. Let me see if I can... There we go. Put those two War things together. Was zwischen Max Töpfer und Eduard Ulich heftig genug, um als Mordmotiv herzuhalten? I don't know. I don't know. Max's motive. Max Töpfer has a dispute with Edward Ulich about his wage deductions. He was left to pay for damages to the motor vehicle out of his own pocket. It's possible this infuriated him so much he decided to terminate not only his contract but also his employer. Oh, so that's just telling us his motive. I mean, I think we also have Emma's motive then. Uh, cheating? Oh, how about they argued in mistresses? There's the motive. Wie eifersüchtig war Emma Ulich wirklich? Genug, um einen Mord zu begehen? Thing is, right, whether the berries were 
purposeful or not, the brake wire was still cut and there's a tool missing. Uh, Edward, Edward's wife knew of his constant womanising. After all, it repeatedly led to arguments in the marriage. It's possible it became too much for Emma and she finally put an end to these stories. Okay, so what we need to do is go back and get our lamp, if we can. I want to look at the back of here. Wir sollten unsere Ermittlungen an mich begleiten. Are you coming back home with me? Well, home to the office, I guess. And this, I don't suppose we. No, we don't live in the office. We know that because we live with the blind lady. Schön haben Sie es in Ihrer Schreibstube. It's pretty big, isn't it? It's a nice office. Uh, give me this lamp. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. I think that's everything. Do you have anything to say here that's Kommissar not Kreiser. No. Das war's. Okay, let's head back. Los geht's. Trusty lamp in hand. And reveal the secrets of the shady garage. It could be something, like, completely innocent. I'm desperate to find out. Let's do it. Hmm. Much better? Let's have a look then. Doesn't look that good. Aha! What do we have here? Wire cutters? Oh, yeah. Pair of scissors! The blades look quite battered. Okay. We need to science this. Oh. The edges of the tear and the brake band look like they would match up with having been cut. By the blades of these scissors! Could they have been tampered with? The edge of the brake and the blades of the scissors resemble each other. Okay, I think we need to now ask... Oh shit, the scissors are gone. Let's ask him because he's the one that knows about the cars. Ich habe noch mehr Fragen. Wenn es sein muss. Uh, if we can ask him about the scissors. Die Risskante des Bremsbandes und die Klingen der Schere scheinen übereinzustimmen. Darüber weiß ich nichts. You can't just say that. No! Oh wait, maybe I need to match those two things up. Für den Moment, wie sie will. Okay, uh, let's see if we can match this with this. Ding! Okay. Das Bremsband ist entweder von selbst gerissen oder jemand hat nachgeholfen. Okay, but we need to ask people about it. We can't just guess. I mean, it matches, right? So it's got to be. Edges of the brake band match Max's scissors. Oh, these are definitely Max's scissors. Okay, we don't need to ask then. He cut the brake band to provoke an accident. The cut edges don't mean anything. The tear in the brake band was an accident. I mean, how could that not mean anything? In what universe could that not mean anything? Sabotage. All oh, that we're getting to conclusions. Uh, what if we? What if he's unconscious? Accident. But what if she did know? Poison. So it can't be both. So conscious leads us down Max's side, and unconscious leads us down Emma's side. Oh no! So and then it goes to accident if we put it like that. This is a case, I wonder if we can let people get away with it as well. Um, I don't have anything. I think we've gathered all the clues. Like, I think this is it. I think this is where we have to make our choice. It is kind of a similar thing where in real life I'd be asking more questions. Right. Before we do that, 
Let me just try and talk again and see if there's anything new. Right, yeah, so we can't ask her about the scissors. But we know that they are his scissors, so... Nehmen Sie sich einen Moment, um sich zu sammeln. Vielen Dank. The clues are leading us to believe that it was him who cut the wires. And she didn't know that the berries were poisonous. I think that's where I'm going, because that seems like the most... Where it's leading, because like... The brake was definitely broken and it was definitely cut. We have physical evidence for that. Uh, so, with his scissors, it matches his scissors. The only thing is we don't know if he was conscious or not. But whether he was conscious or not, this still happened, you know? So, if he was unconscious, then it's to do with the berries. Uh, but if he was conscious, it was because he, he was slamming on the brakes and he didn't swerve out the way. The only reason we have to believe, well, we have two reasons to believe he might have been unconscious. One, because of the berries being a thing he might have eaten. And two, because he didn't swerve to avoid the bridge. But also, maybe he just didn't see because there was barriers up. Like, and in that moment... You're panicking, aren't you? Like, you're not thinking straight. Uh, so, it's not like... He didn't know that sand pile was going to be there to crash into. Uh, so... And, oh yeah, so the whole paralysis thing, right? It paralyzes them and he, it's like he didn't try to escape. But also, they had to forcibly remove him. So, he was stuck. Somehow. Although, that could just be because the car got crushed <laughs> around him. Uh, I'm going with this sabotage. I have to follow the physical evidence, right? And the physical evidence is the scissors. There's nothing to say that Emma didn't take the scissors and cut the wires. But, and she could be lying about everything. She could be lying about the berries. She could be lying about how much she knew about cars. But he definitely knew about cars. The only thing is, I don't know if he has it in him to to hurt the car. Oh, but he had already resigned. He'd already resigned. Perfect opportunity. It's a final farewell gift. Why was he here today then? Hmm. Yeah, let's go sabotage. Max Topfer no longer wanted to put up with being taken advantage of by his employer. He cut the brake band of the motor car to provoke an accident. In Edward Ulick's desperate attempts to brake, it did not even occur to him to simply swerve or jump off. Oh, that sounds like... it. Like, that's plausible to me, that it just wouldn't occur to you. You have seconds in this moment, you know? Seconds to react. Um, but you can see how this would say differently if he was poisoned and paralyzed. Uh, right, wait, what if we, oh, we can do this, okay. Emma had enough of her husband's womanizing. She tried to poison him with Belladonna, but the dose was too small. It was only while he was driving his motor car through plaguets that the paralysis of the poison set in that's why he could neither swerve nor jump off before he went into the river two murderers okay so once we get these it, it can give you the option of two murderers as well just the question is whether she did know about the bur you know what i think two murderers we don't have any proof but we do know she tends the garden and she put the berries in a bowl. What else was she going to do with them? Two murderers. <laughs> Though independent of each other, Emma and Max both tried to kill Edward. The wife threw poison, the mechanic threw sabotage. 
Now a court must decide just punishments for them. At any rate, they were guilty. Yes. Yes. Because why was he still here after? Although they were, yeah, it was independent of each other, which is the conclusion I was kind of coming to as we were going. Two killers. Jetzt weiß ich, was wir tun müssen. Steht eine Verhaftung an. Straight to jail. Nicht nur eine. Dieser Fall hat einige überraschende Wendungen bereitgehalten. <lacht> uh oh. I think this is right. Und so blieb mir nichts anderes übrig, sowohl Emma Ulich als auch Max Töpfer zu verhaften. Sie hat die ständigen Seitensprünge ihres Ehemanns wohl nicht mehr ertragen und sich entschlossen, dass es damit nun ein für alle Mal vorbei sei. Und Max Töpfer wollte sich an seinem Arbeitgeber für die schlechte Behandlung und den einbehaltenen Lohn rächen. Richtig. Und so durchtrennte er das Bremsband und sie vergiftete ihren Ehemann mit Tollkirschen. Deshalb konnte Eduard Ulich weder ausweichen noch bremsen und ertrank in der Elster. Ja. Yeah. wen trifft die Hauptschuld an dem Tod? Das muss zum Glück nicht ich entscheiden, sondern ein Gericht. Aber Ihnen gebührt der Respekt, diesen undurchschaubaren Fall aufgeklärt zu haben. Die Leipziger Polizei kann sich glücklich schätzen, Sie in ihren Diensten zu haben. Nicht jeder hätte hier die Wahrheit erkannt. Ooh, like we don't know if it'll be right. Oh, you have finished the demo for Casebook 1899, and you found the right solution as well. You seem to be a natural. Ooh, that's not what Sherlock Holmes would say, but I'm gonna take it. <laughs> oh, that was so good. I really like that. Um, excellent. Yeah, really, really good. It is literally very much like those Sherlock Holmes games. Awesome. Yeah, very good. I'm really, really glad that the Kickstarter did well. Uh, it looks like the main game's gonna have another three more cases, it seemed, based on the menu, but also obviously they can do what they want, can't they? Uh, they probably announced during the Kickstarter like a roadmap to how it goes. But uh, that was awesome. Like, I liked everything about it. Like, I love this scene with the blue and the black. I loved the point and click side of it. I thought the dialogue was great. Um, the voice acting seemed good. I mean, I couldn't understand it, but it seemed good. Like, I really liked the portraits of the people and just the pixel art in general. Uh, please support this Kickstarter campaign to get you three more cases with over four hours of playtime. There we go. Uh, so yeah, this they have a page on Steam and stuff. So if you want more information, uh, you can look that up easily enough and um, support the game. Really good. Really, really good. Really enjoyed it. I don't really have any complaints at all. Uh, it just like... It always gives me this rush when a demo is clean and polished and everything works well and like buttons respond how they're supposed to and stuff. And like, cause very often, even point and clicks and stuff, the, the menus can be a little bit like, a bit jarring or a bit like, they just don't work as intended and stuff, but this was just flawless. The, the scrolly system on the mouse was lovely, loved it. Uh, I liked having the notebook. It was just all really good. Yeah, I would definitely play the rest of this game. Real good. So like, so far we've played um, this and also if you enjoyed this, I recommend the curse of the, the case. The case of the golden idol. <laughs> Not the curse, the case of the golden idol, which is also another point and click uh, kind of mystery game, murder mystery game. It's different. But it, it's another one that's good, if that makes sense. It's like, it feels good to play. Um, yeah, this is, I hope this genre is like full on gonna make a comeback or whatever. Cause it's, yeah, I really like it. It's so good. Uh, and these are 
yeah, quality. Enjoyed it a lot. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. That was a longer one there again. Uh, I'll catch you next time with some more indie games. I look forward to seeing what else we're going to be playing for the rest of the month. And I'll catch you then. Goodbye.